Welcome! In this tutorial I will show you how to add the JavaScript to HTML code. There are two options how we can do it. The first one with the special tag script. Script. So everything what you will put inside will be JavaScript. For example, we will want to create a new date and uh, const uh, And for example, some constant value. And uh, we can output it into the browser with the alert. So I want to add uh, invite and um, date. So in case you will run it in it in Chrome, let's take a look, let's refresh the page, and you will see that today is uh, Sunday, September and all the rest. Click OK. And uh, now in your HTML page you can use JavaScript. You can use all the JavaScript options you have. For example, for let E0, ELS3, E++, the same alert, I. Uh, when we will refresh, we see that the same date, and then we have 0, 1, 2, that's it. So it how it works. But as you see, it will work when you have not a lot of JavaScript, super small amount, but what you will do in case you will have a lot of files and your application becomes more complex. In this case, I would recommend you to split everything into the separate files. So we inside our project we can create a new folder js for example and we will add a new file inside any live inside any folder or dot here with extension js is javascript so and now you can put all this all the script we created remove it Remove it from the file and put it here. So we have our JavaScript code, the same. And inside our application, we need to do some changes with the script. We can delete this part. It will be without closing tag, without closing part. We need uh, put special attribute it calls source. When you put source you can specify where you want to save your script. So now we will use all JavaScript from the separate file. Let's check. It doesn't work. We need to close this tag anyway. Let's refresh the page and as you see we have everything what we need. So anyway JavaScript tag should be closed. Basically you can even do this one. Let's check what will you see. So when we have source, everything what you will put inside it won't work. Source is has more priority, and uh, that's it. So now you know how to put your JavaScript code inside uh, HTML and use it as any other web frontend developer. Thank you for watching.